In this video, I'll show you how to record or add voiceover narration to your videos in CapCut for Windows PC. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. I've got a project right inside CapCut and I can add some videos to the timeline right here. That's uh, looking all good. But one thing you'll notice is that this footage does not have any audio narration. And if I play it, it's just plain and simple footage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record voiceover narration for this. To do that, there's a microphone icon right here and that's what I'll click on and it's the record icon. Click on that. And once you do that, it's going to give you a couple of options. So for example, you'll see uh, the meter here, you'll see the record button here and you can click it to start recording, but you need to select an input device. So for example, it's speaking from my webcam, uh, but I don't want to use that footage. So click on this drop down, and you can see the different options, microphone and video broadcast, microphone array, and this is the laptop uh, kinda, and this is the analog, the one I'm using to record my audio. So I'm going to select this, although I'm not sure if it's going to affect my recording uh, right now. Click on it, and once I do that, it's going to start picking it as well. You can calibrate the voice, what you want the volume to be, I'll leave it at 100 and then there are a couple of extra options where you can actually uh, select like echo reduction if you'd like to do that. Turn on to avoid echo from the speaker. Number two, you can mute project. Sounds in all clips will be turned off after mute project turned on. So click on that. If you have any audio voiceover or music down here, it's going to be a uh, mute as you're recording, uh, your uh, recording audio recording. So let's click on record. It's going to give you a countdown. Hi everyone, my name is David and welcome to this YouTube channel where I'll be talking about the best keyboard you can buy today. Once you're done, click on stop recording. So we can close it out and now we'll see the audio recording down here. If we go back to the start, we can play it. Hi everyone, my name is David. It's a little bit low, so we may need to add the volume slightly. We can actually just move this slider, but this seems uh, to sound uh, to be too high. That's too high. Let's leave it at around 1.1 dB. I think I'm assuming it's just my audio computer audio that's down. So we can have it uh, play again. Hi everyone. My name is David and welcome to this YouTube channel where I'll be talking about the best keyboard you can buy today. So I may need to boost it a little bit uh, so that we get at least some better levels. Let's see from the audio meter on this side. Welcome to this YouTube channel where I'll be talking about the best keyboard you can buy today. So it's clipping a little bit. Once you see the oranges down here, let's bring it down slightly. Right about there. Uh, feels right. One. My name is David and welcome to this YouTube channel where I'll be talking about... That looks good. So simply put, all you need to do is just click on the record button set your settings to what you want to do to, to have them be and then uh, select echo reduction and you can mute the project if you already have some music going on and you just want to uh, record audio or voice of a narration for your project in CapCut for Windows. It's that easy and then once you're done you can make different basic edits, fade in fade out, add volume, noise reduction if you want to add some more, voice effects, whatever you want. But that is how you can record or add voiceover narration to a video in CapCut for Windows. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.